That looks chancy. Inspector Royston Luckenbill reminds the public that the alleged murderer, known as Foggy Jack, does not exist. No, he's just a fairy tale, states Inspector Luckenbill, and we all know how horrible those are. <laughs> there are definitely no victims found in the street in the morning with certain uh, organs surgically removed. No. And even if there were, even if there were, what on earth were those people doing out after dark, eh? Everyone except the constables should be at home listening to Uncle Jack's bedtime stories. I'm sure that the girls in question were just running carelessly with, with scissors. Oh, yes, well, as we all know, one can't be too careful doing arts and crafts, can one? Oh. Okay, cool, so we actually got to rehear it. Without being interrupted and crazy people trying to take me out. What the hell? Nothing to see here. Well, I want to see. What do I see? Oh, wait. Isn't this where the little old ladies are? Yeah. It's your legs. Alright. Well, where are we at? That's the real question here. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Shh, guests are sleeping. Screaming fans will be escorted from the premises until they calm down. The management. Yeah, sounds about right. Ooh, free coffee. Can do. Bunch of rooms. Can we enter any of them? Use the trash. Oh no, really? Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like the perfect way out. <laughs> Good grief. That's not really a, a secret escape route. If I could just find a quiet place to clean up and think. Home. I just need to go home. You had to walk through multiple highways just to get to it, and then you had to jump out a garbage chute? I mean, I guess this is a good way out, but could it have been better than a garbage chute? Uh, good grief. Alright, well. What do you got to tell me, Mr. Statue? Huh, you tell me to go that way? Then I'm going this way. Ah, shit. Oh, look, there's some out front. Oh, I wish I could interact with those. Alright. To my left, I go. Man, look at these streets. I love it. It's so cool looking. He's mine. Hey. Oh, they're about to kill me. Okay. Okay. So we don't have health packs. We have experiences. <laughs> I have all your That is awesome. I love the tune. <laughs> Before she comes back. <laughs> All right, we'll be on our way, I guess. God, look at this, though. It's so cool again. They did such a good job with this. I was not expecting the DLC to be this detailed, but they really went all out. I mean, I wish of, I kind of wish they were longer, and I wish it was kind of like an open world experience. But I don't think they could go that far with, say, like these other alternate characters. At least I don't think so. That being said, I really hope that that's not the end of We Happy Few when I finish the DLC. I hope there's more at some point because I feel like there's so many different things that they've built with such an expansive world. Like, what's the story of Dr. Verloc, the guy that we see very little of? I think he'd be an interesting guy to know more about. He also looks a lot like the guy 
Uh, I mentioned earlier the Andy Warhol guy. You know, I see a resemblance. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly. But they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. That's just me. Anyway, off on our way. Um, this says, gone to convention. Oh, all right. So the uh, local joy place is closed. Much more of those little posters. That looks chancy. <laughs> it felt appropriate. Shake a leg. Oh, this looks so much different than the uh, areas we've experienced. Come confess on your knees. The sister in is in. Dude. You're my soulmate. What happens if we take too much joy with Nick? Is that even possible? More. Let's get the full health and then see what happens if I take more than that. Again? I have a feeling it's not going to do anything, but I kind of hope it does. Hmm. One more for the road. Okay, yeah, I don't think it did anything, although everything looks quite bright and colorful, which is nice. Oh, oh wow. the fun part of town, yes. As much as you like the wet peach. Oh, we love Nick. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Uh, hanky panky. That's Nick, the lip. That's not necessary. Oh, God! That was bright, what the fuck, man? Uh, look, the other guy wants to hurt me! Do rock musicians have mind control when they play the guitars? Would one know if the vibrational tunes that one puts out with their guitar could affect the brain in such a way? Or is it just merely scientific hoo-ha? You decide, although those cameras hurt like a motherfucker. Man, like, like that hurt my eyes in general. That was bright. Damn. You're gonna treat me like uh, the three-eyed dude from Freaking uh, Dragon Ball Z, looking solar flare in my ass. That ain't cool. Let's see, peekaboo all day long, or all night long. Ooh, guitars. Can I go into the guitar store? Saucy Minx. There's so much to look at, I'm trying not to go too fast. Oh, hello guys, I need to play your little tune. Do my bidding. Thank you, good sir. There are statues of him everywhere here. You know, we never visited this part of town, and when we stole his uh, mask as Arthur, I don't remember people treating us any different, really. And look at that. Oh, shit. 
Yikes. Mouse! Hmm. Just a quick nip to quieten the old nerves. <laughs> Teddy bear, can I take you with me? Oh, it's so cute. Why won't you let me take you? I mean, like, I don't feel like using this is important most of the time, but let's see what happens if I do it while they're standing there. Huh. Oh, they're not gonna aggro on me? Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? You know, I think we wear the same size. Man, they really are tripping. They don't even know I'm here. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? No, 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 that's not necessary. You're bleeding. <laughs> Protect me, squire. Oh, fuck, that doesn't help me at all there. Good grief. It's a bit annoying, but I guess it'll have to work. This is where we're supposed to go, but I'm not sure if I want to go in there just yet. It's the Light Bear Museum. From the secret shadows of dawn, there's a darkness to the sky. The simple thought I recognize 